length, but now Vahal coming in to the straight in the lead with Capello in second. These two going well clear of the rest of the field. Battle on for the bronze, it seems, behind them. Capello is very strong, though. Can Vahal match him? Stride for stride there, but Vahal is coming through in the finish, and Vahal takes it with Capello in second place. The world record holder striding away. He is fully fit. He said he was. And Carson Vahal knows his body. He knows the level he can perform at. It is a massive victory for Carson Vahal. Finished down the home straight, but it's the Ingebrigtsens, led by Jakob, the 17-year-old. Behind him, his older brother, two NT12 European 1500-meter champion. But I don't think he's going to be able to add to his title. It's going to be Jakob Ingebrigtsen coming through for a stunning and memorable double. Jakob Ingebrigtsen adds to his 1500-meter title. You just look at the way Katia is gritting his teeth. Ingebrigtsen, though, just changes gears so smoothly. He's just pulling ahead of Katia. He's on his way to his third European Championships gold. Ingebrigtsen defends his title. O'Hare is in third, Whiteman is finishing strongly, but Jakob Ingebrigtsen, this sensational 17-year-old talent, they're gaining on him, and they get there in the end. Wow, Jakob Ingebrigtsen just wins it. It's all about. Matthew Hudson-Smith and what time he might do as the crowd stands all round as they see a great display. Maybe he's tying up just that little bit. One of the two ballers coming behind him. It's Matthew Hudson-Smith. Running a terrific bend and really going through the gears down the home straight. It's as we expected. Hudson-Smith pouring it on. He's got a European title to defend and he's doing it with aplomb. Harvey handing over to Pernigoglu and Jamili taking over for Great Britain. Jamili will hand over to Akin Zayiti. They should have the lead. They're ahead of the uh, Netherlands, they're ahead of Turkey. It is Great Britain, it's Harry Akin Zayiti streaming down the track. Surely it's too much to do for the net of the Netherlands. Very good finish by Guliev. Look at the way Guliev ran. Efaloko now has the baton. Someone who's grown in experience this year. Just the one changeover, Vico chasing. But Nathaniel Mitchell Blake, so experienced at bringing it home, and he wins gold for the British team. France in behind, and look like Netherlands just got it. It's a championship record, though. Here we go. from the World Team Championships two years ago to his name, there he is now, coming around the men. The leader, he will be crowned the European Champion 2018. So, the title goes from Spain to Spain. Miguel Angel Lopez, the Champion, hands over to Alba.
Duplantis's first attempt to add a centimetre to his own championship record. Duplantis plants, Duplantis flies, and he's over! Six metres and six centimetres for Mondo Duplantis. Here's Militaris Tentoglu, lying in third place at the moment, but if he can just repeat that jump from qualifying of 8.15, he'll be able to take the lead and get into pole position. The winner of the European Under-20 Championships 12 months ago. And that is a good jump. It may even be getting him into first place. It's very close to that green line that's projected onto both the sandpit in the stadium and with the television viewers. Anxiously awaiting verdict. Behind. No, 825. Half uh, hearted effort, but he didn't need to do any better. He'd already been assured of the gold medal. Ten top boot in this long jump final. Appears to be fairly relaxed. Same could be said in the uh, World Championships in which he ended up being the silver medalist. How about here, Montler still has gone further than uh, the current lead this year, but that could be the jump that really seals it from the Greek. So here in the fourth round, improving throughout his series, another valid measurement. So what's it going to be? Ten toggle. Wow. 8 metres 52, a new championship record. The Bill Tidus Tentoku, well, it seems as though he's pretty much won every title, and now he has. Expected one, two, it doesn't always work out like that, but it has here, as this man, Wojciech Nowitzki, a opponent, is sure of the gold medal. Can he yet again improve his distance well beyond the 80 metre line? 80 12, round three, this is it. Once before, a Polish athlete won gold with the European Championships. Malvina Wojcovic has done a fantastic job. Nowitzki caught the netting there as the hammer flew out. It's going to be short of 80 metres. Nowitzki thanks the crowd, thanks the supporters, and there's the smile from the big man, Olczyk Nowitzki, on top of a podium again.